there is no proper screen for my projector so I am using this wall only let's see how the picture quality is this Amazon uh, Fire TV stick in HDMI port 1 so now machine is on this is the focusing knob with this one you have to focus by rotating this knob see the picture is blurred now so we have to rotate this one to make it clear now you can see it's a perfect picture it's a full HD 180p you can see the picture quality it's like a HD TV let me explain the menu and uh, now I will explain the menu go to the setting this is the menu button you can see the option that's image setting 3d setting aspect ratio age mask lots of things there so we'll go to first image setting that is a display mode brightness contrast sharpness you can control the gamma also gamma is preferably we are putting 2.4 that is the more vibrant color and this is slightly whitish this is more whitish the standard 2.2 is also good is near to 2.4 actually and for the more graphics and gaming option you can use this one and this is the video mode this is the film mode film mode is also near to similar 2.4 but i am keeping this one 2.4 this is more convenient we will explain one by one menu this is the image setting you see already setting uh, we have to use the 3d glasses i have the 3d glasses already i'll show you guys and after that we have to go to the aspect ratio the aspect ratio you can see this auto mode this is 16 point 16 is to 9 normally it's a film mode and this is lbx uh, slightly better viewing for the vertical bigger so i am keeping it auto mode that is uh, more convenient after that we'll go back to the menu again this is age mask age mask is that we can uh, reduce the size from up and down or uh, to control from other devices like computer and uh, game console something like that and this is the zoom option I am not using this one zoom you can uh, this is 2 4 5 up to uh, 15 zoom I think you can do oh, sorry it's a 25 zoom this is the 25 zoom uh, still you can see the picture quality is uh, quite impressive so I'll put back to the normal one this is I'll make it zero no need to zoom actually we'll go back to the menu this is image shift image shift is we can put the image slightly vertical horizontal slightly move forward like this slightly move uh, upward or downward okay so we'll put We'll go to the keystone this is very much important where one is very much important where we are not getting the uh, rectangular screen so we are changing we are adjusting the keystone you can see the keystone this corner is changing okay so we'll make it zero now because we are getting it's a uh, rectangular already so now we'll go back to the menu uh, we'll go to the image setting now this is the brightness you can control the brightness brightness we put is 5 but uh, we'll make it 0 and I'll show you how it is see I'll make it 0 now but still you can see it's a quite impressive so we'll go to the contrast I make it 15 it is more vivid color that's why if I put it 0 so it's also good okay but I will go to my usual setting that is 15 it is best viewing experience from my side sharpness I will make it 13 you can make it 0 also it does not matter and uh, after that gamma gamma I put already 2.4 I will show you 
and after that color setting color setting is a brilliant color that is a very uh, means uh, very nice thing in optimized 27 uh, this brilliant color uh, looks more vivid and you can see i'll put it vivid uh, this is 10 that is highest one you can see the picture quality how good it is but i'll make it 6 or 7 something like that it is a standard one color temperature color number is standard if you can if you want you can make it cool or you can make it cold you can make it warm slightly yellowish tint is there in the warm but i'll make it a standard okay after that color matching i am not going in this section because i am not changing this one i will make it as default for color matching and red green bias also i am not uh, changing that much this option so i will exit from here and this is color space color space also we are making uh, auto this is rgb rgb 16 to 235 and this is uh, uiv and this is auto i will make it as auto now we will go to the sound setting this is mute and volume this two option is there so now we will go to setup there is first option is projection where you can rotate the screen like uh, you can make it slightly you can make it uh, upward half lift like this is the image is mirror you can see up down mirror this is the left and this is the original one okay so i'll keep it there this is the lamp setting lamp setting uh, is lamp reminder on when your lamp uh, is going to be finished then you will get some notification and lamp reset i will not make it this one okay so and after that filter setting filter we are not putting any filter we will make it uh, no filter okay power setting power setting is uh, direct power on sync power setting is all the default i set as the security security is off actually if you put the security on they will ask for the password so no need for that now hdmi link setting this is uh, inclusive tv power on link pg device power on link off that i am not using i am using only hdmi 1 and 2 now i'll go to the info mode info you can see that uh, uh, regulatory that serial number shows resolution 180p and it refresh rate at 16 hertz you can see the you can see the lamp hours this bright is 99 hours eco is 273 hours dynamic 70 hours total 442 hours so here you can see the uh, age of your lamp so i can use that much more and after that we need to change the bulb of my projector we'll go to the image setting image setting i show you that gamma control and the display mode you can see that is display mode this bright reference gamma vivid cinematic mode lots of things there but uh, in the user mode you can control the brightness that is the uh, manual mode only where you can control the brightness contrast sharpness everything so for the brightness we can change to six that is okay and uh, contrast i am putting 14 15 like this this is standard setting sharpness i am giving it eight maximum not more than that gamma i am keeping 2.4 and color setting it is a brilliant color which is a very good option where i am putting it's eight and color temperature standard color matching i am not using rgb uh, gain bias i am not using color space also i am making auto okay so this is the total image setting and dynamic black one option is there if you make it on so i don't feel there is that much difference is there so dynamic black i am putting off that is uh, okay for me so now see how is the picture quality i will show you a youtube video so you can see the video quality 
how vibrant and it looks like original picture This is I am playing in HD mode, this is 180p. It's an amazing picture. You can see the picture is the best in the market of Toma HD 27. I am using the speaker of the Softoma. It is uh, sound quality is also impressive. It's quite good actually. Okay, so now I'll switch on the light and I'll show you the picture quality in room light on also. This now is room light off. So just wait. So you can see with the room light on, the picture quality is also quite impressive. So now room light is on. You can see the picture. Okay, now I'll put my another uh, light on. The two light on the picture quality is slightly bad I'll say because it is not that good as before but still you can watch it is not like that you can't watch anything you can see it's a fully the six light is, is there six lights are there so it's totally illuminated room manual switch is there also you can control manually from here without remote this is the infrared receiver and this is the info option and this is the menu option this is the keystone you can correct the keystone from here this is the back option and uh, this is the source option you can control the HDMI 1 to HDMI 2 this is switch off switch on power off and this is also the keystone this is a vertical uh, up and down option okay and, and this is the menu option this zoom in and zoom out button with this one you can make it zoom in or zoom out during the play option there is not that much sound sometimes uh, in other projector when you are watching movie the projector itself sound is too much so you have to use the home theater otherwise you can't hear the sound so here you can see there is not that much sound it's very quiet maximum it will be 10 to 12 decibel not more than that You can see this is a 3D glasses from Optoma. It's a DLP Link 3D. So it is 32 kg. Lots of other information is there. But you can see the full HD with 3D means 180p 3D. You can see with this glasses. The manual is there. You can read all this before using.
adapting your data cable jack with this one you can charge your 3d glasses and here is the glasses here is the glass so here you can see the power of power on button is there this is the one and this is the charging button and this is the sensor I can't show you the 3d quality picture because with the glasses it's difficult to show you but you can believe me you will get a immersive 3d experience with these glasses with the Optima HD27 projector it's a really impressive machine so that's all guys for today and we'll see you in my next tech video thank you all for watching goodbye